Hello everybody, my name is Provis, and welcome to more Crusader Kings 3! It's been a while since we last played this, but I thought, hey, let's mix things up and jump right back into it. Now, to really mix things up, though, we're going to be playing with an overhaul mod called Princes of Darkness, which is a vampire-based mod, which I think derives from the lore of World of Darkness, which is a tabletop game that's been around for about mm, 30 years or so. Vampire the Masquerade and Bloodlines and stuff is based on that same universe, so some of you guys might already be familiar with that. The idea of playing as an immortal vampire in a medieval Crusader Kings world sounds really appealing to me, so let's go ahead and jump right into a new game. Now, there are two start dates we can work with. One of them's canon and one is not. The patron war over here, not based on World of Darkness. 1230, though, these both are canon. So we have vampires as an option, right? We can play as any of the vampiric princes of Europe. Or we could play as Inquisitors, humans who are fighting against the vampires. Much higher difficulty to pull this off, and I don't think we're going to do that this time around. That seems like something you do for a second playthrough once you have a better idea of what's going on. So let's stick with some vampires. There's a lot of cool characters we can go with here, each with their own different backstories, some of which are more feral and ruthless, others are kind and benevolent to their humans and the undead. But I'm going to be going for Ma'atkare over here. This character just looks awesome for a lot of obvious reasons. I mean, I'm going to be simping for her all day. She is the Duchess of Tlemcen, and she is the concubine of Set, and blessed with a beauty almost without equal. Ma'atkare is one of the hierophants of the Setite clan, their leadership structure. Wielding tremendous influence, she is ruling the Temple of the Descending Eri in the Maghreb, where she carefully spreads Set's influence among the local misguided Canites. Canites, if I understand correctly, are descendants of Cain, right? The biblical story of Cain and Abel. Cain murdered his brother. He's cursed by God. I guess in the world of darkness, all descendants of Cain, like the curse is vampirism, I think. So we're all related to each other. We're all descendants of Cain. That's the idea, hence Cainites. The current collapse of Muslim Iberia is having a ripple effect and has to stabilize the region, a fact that Ma'atkare is taking advantage of with the dream of a unified Setite clan from Iberia to Egypt in the back of her mind. Let's go ahead and start this up. I'm really excited about this. Now, mods for CK3, always a bit hit or miss on YouTube, so I'm going to be watching numbers and such uh, as far as views, likes, comments and such to really see if this is something you guys like. But I think it's got a lot of promise, so we have to give it a shot. And now we get to take a look at a tutorial. Now, I've already read through this, so I can give you guys a quick synopsis, some vampire mechanics. We are immortal, right? We're ancient beings. We are not going to die of old age or disease, but we can be killed. We can get married, but we can't have children. Marriages are really more for political alliances than anything else. Religions are important. They're the philosophical tenets of your character, which keeps the beast within at bay. If we become too stressed, then we are going to become feral. At that point, our character is basically dead. Also, we have to worry about our exposure, the masquerade, and we have to have our hunger for blood. So let's keep an eye on all of that. You can get hungrier and uh, increase your bloodthirst if you use vampiric powers. We'll see more of those later. I'm not sure how much we're going to use, but we'll see. There are some advanced concepts. Uh, we learn lifestyles very slowly, but there are unique lifestyles only to vampires. We learn pretty quick. Uh, buildings represent influence, not actual buildings. We're, we're ruling from the shadows. So having influence over the burghers or the clergy, for example, gets us some more money or influence in some way. But all influence comes with some sort of a downside. So you have to manage that somehow. Warfare has a higher emphasis on knights. Prowess is an extremely powerful stat. And intrigue is extra important. Then there's some information as far as the world of darkness and the rest of the lore. Not going to worry about that. Let's just go ahead and jump into it. Let's take a look at our character, Ma'atkare. So, we have... Diligent, gregarious, and zealous as our traits. Pretty solid stats. Could do for a bit more martial, though. We're pretty poor at that. We are a charismatic negotiator, and we are beautiful. Yeah, you are. But we're a vampire. Prowess goes up. We have a godlike health boost. We cannot have children, though, and a lot of different people don't like me, including vampire hunters, ghouls, werewolves, wraiths, demons. There's apparently a lot of supernatural stuff in this world. Then a whole bunch of traits, which I believe derive from our special vampire lifestyles. We already have a claim on Rift, so I'll probably want to fight over here pretty soon. We do have two children. My daughter over here is unmarried, okay. She is a part of the House Witches of Echigna, and we have a daughter who is ruling over here as my chancellor. Works for me, all right. All this looks pretty good. Uh, let's take a look at, let's see, our family dynasty. Ma'atkare, eat the apple is our phrase. Is that referencing sin? I guess it must be. 
Uh, we're famous already. This is our dynasty. Not going to worry about this too much right now. And our legacies, I don't think I'm the leader of the house, so we can't change any of these. But there's a lot of customization here as well. Pretty cool. Head down to the road of set. We can see our religion. Ritual celebrations, sacred lies, and conviction and self-control, which makes zealous a virtue. Most of the stuff looks pretty normal, except for crime doctrines, which has to say which of our um, uh, vampiric underworld traits are uh, illegal and not. Most things here are criminal and shunned. Lycanthropy, for example, is shunned. Haunting, totally acceptable. Glamour, shunned, right? Not sure what all this does, but I'm sure this has to do with all the different... Um, types of supernatural beings that could be within my court, conceivably. Let's take a look at lifestyles. Lots of stuff here is going to be familiar to you. We're already familiar with a lot of this. These are all the unique ones, though. Animal, choleric, melancholy, phlegmatic, and sanguine. I do not know what all of these really are going to do for us. Uh, a lot of them seem to improve schemes of various different types, and maybe prowess. So all that could be kind of good for me, maybe. Or we could focus on, you know, some of the standard lifestyle traits, like let's say Marshall, and that could make things really good. It's never bad to have some extra cast of belly, right? I don't know, all that could be nice. I think for now we're gonna focus on Choleric, which I believe is more of a prowess-based thing, and having more prowess makes a lot of sense. I wanna be as good at combat as possible. Plus, we probably can focus on some extra advantage and prowess by doing all of these. Uh, so I think this is going to be our focus. Let's go for Celerity. I don't really know the difference between some of these. Maybe, maybe, maybe Potence then. They all seem the same. They're all prowess, they all get experience in the same thing. Whatever, we'll try for this. And let's see what's going to happen with any of that. Could get married. Um, now we have options here. Marrying a, uh, another vampire who's already landed is nice in the sense that it gets me a really good ally. Not so nice in the sense that we don't have anybody who comes back here to court and can give me some extra stats. I think for now we're gonna sort by someone who is not a ruler, or at the very least, maybe is unlanded. Nah, not ruler is gonna be fine. And then let's sort by martial skill, and I wanna find someone pretty good at martial. Most of these guys are terrible. If not martial, then at the very least prowess would be very good for me. So maybe this protector of Portugal and Hannibal? who has a claim, by the way, which we might be able to use. Some decent-ish stats, pretty good prowess, and if you're unlanded, I am pretty sure you're going to come and join my court. Is there anyone else who would make a lot of sense? A Norman? Stewardship focus and such? Eh. Yeah, I think, I think we're gonna go for this guy. You'll be okay for me, sure. Let's go ahead and get married to you, bring you into court, get me some extra stats with my spouse. Speaking of court, let's take a look at our council. So, Rafik is my court chaplain. My daughter is my chancellor. Uh, she is actually really good as a court chaplain, so it might make sense to swap you around. Let's swap you here. But this guy will become my chaplain. He's pretty terrible. I'm probably going to fire him, to be honest. Yeah, let's, let's just go ahead and swap you. Bring my daughter over into this position. Rafik, um, I don't really like you. We could recruit this new person to court. Sure, we recruit you and we're gonna assign you. What's your role? You're a chancellor and a knight, but you're not a landed person, so that's fine. We can fire you and assign someone who's a little bit better. Uh, our steward is not the best, but is one of my vassals, so we probably don't want to upset them too much. Baroness could get some extra marshal. I think that's probably worth it. Let's do that. And then Spymaster. No one really better? Okay, you're also a vassal. I guess we keep you in this role for now. I only have one out of three domain. I need more domain. One thing we might be able to do is actually fabricate a claim right here on our own territory, which I didn't even know you could do, but you can fabricate claims on your own territory in order to try and get a justified reason to um, take away some land. Might work. It might still be an act of tyranny. I don't know. What's this? Still falling. Although it has been burnt centuries ago, the loss of Carthage is still felt in the Maghreb. The area has since been carved between various Ashira, Muslim, vampires, and sultans, but none of them has really managed to consolidate the region. The two best poised to do so are Sofaniba, the very old leader of Tunis who still remembers the loss of her city alongside Carthage, and Zambra Matub of Algiers, a young, young and ambitious La Sombra. 
The Setites also have a foothold here, as do the Clan Tremere. With this divided patchwork of powers and rich history, the Maghreb is a tantalizing prize for any adventurous prince or sultan. That's what I'm going for. We'll see if that works. Predatory inclination. Which attributes do you utilize for the hunt? Violence, charm, deceit, or knowledge? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with roleplay here and say, Charm! We're beautiful. It's gotta work. I convince the kind to give up their blood. Siren, which gives me diplomacy, and we're a predator-type siren. Okay. Seems alright. Um, gentry, which gets me a noble, as well as some money and some uh, prestige and experience. That's not bad. Cultist. I think that's illegal. So we gain some exposure and might set ourselves up for intrigue issues. Consensualist. We gain some exposure. Not sure I want that, even for piety. I have to do Siren only because it fits. I'm not sure it's technically the best, but it is fun. An alliance has been formed. Fantastic. Hey, daughter person, we should get you married to someone. Someone strong. Uh, preferably someone who can be landed. Alliance power. Ghana or Thrace? Ghana could make sense. You're pretty strong and you're not far away. Or Navara, you're also pretty strong. Hmm. I think I'd go for the guy in, in Ghana. Yeah, and there's a chance of children being inbred, but not really. One, because he's not going to join my court. So they're not going to be, you know, doing the thing. Second, we're vampires. Vampires are not going to be able to have kids, so inbred isn't really a concern. My story so far. All right. Praise Set and praise you, Ma'atkare, his most beloved consort for the salvation you bring to the misguided Canite race. Your heart weeps when seeing so many children of your beloved not following his teachings. There is hope, though, as the chaos of the Lysambra civil war in Iberia leaves many of them astray and looking for guidance. One of the Hierophants, as one of the Hierophants, the rightful leaders of the clan Setite, you are happy to provide such guidance. You will only stop when all the world sings his praise. Then and only then will he return triumphantly to your side. We have a special ability where we can convert any non-religious unbeliever. Well, that's interesting and potentially very useful. Okay, I kind of like it. Let's take a look at my primary holding here in Tlemcen. So this is the what I'm talking about as far as the influence. We gain tax by mer uh, having merchant influence, but we lose popular opinion, which means there's a higher likelihood of unrest. That's no good. But taxes is important. Burgers, also, uh, extra taxes, building construction time, but we lose some monthly prestige. I'm going to go ahead and construct a princedom, which is one of the only things I can think of that's not actually going to hurt me in some way. Gets me levy, as well as some garrison and some money. It takes two years to build, but that's fine. By the time we're done with that in two years, maybe we'll be in a position to go and attack this person here in Rife, who has a lot more military strength than I do. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But, oh well. What else can we do here? Change my court chaplain's contract. Yeah, that's my daughter. I guess we can go ahead and try to get some extra levy out of you. It's not a lot of levy, but I'll go ahead and do it. Why not? That was an act of tyranny. Dang it! I'm sorry, I meant to use a hook. Oops, all right, well, that's probably fine. Heir first in line to inherit something. That's uh, not my daughter. We have to do an election. Can I nominate my daughter? Yes, let's cast a vote for my daughter to be my ruler. Just because we keep this in the family to rule Tlemcen, I think that'd be fine. We're up to 527 levy now, all right. Am I married? Yes, okay, so I want you to assist me. You can give me plus one in all skills or perhaps better chivalry for some extra military power. Seems solid enough. Um, everything else here is kind of okay. We get some extra focus recruitment, which gets me levy size plus 25%. That's actually really nice. And my dynasty just unlocked a trait. Piety goes up and we can recruit snakes as men at arms. Whatever that means. Let's take a look at men at arms. I actually have a couple already. Camels and heavy infantry. Snakes. They're cheap, I guess. They don't counter... They counter scorpions, whatever that means. No advantage in terrain. They seem terrible. Seems like it'd be way better to go and, like, get more camels since we'd be fighting in the freaking deserts all the time. Yeah, I feel like I want lots of camels. And maybe some unique heavy infantry. But I'm thinking that's what we'd want to go for. Knights. Um, we have a couple really good ones. We could recruit my guests, and I think we will. It's only 10. And we have some not-so-good knights as well. 
So no, 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 no. Seven is my lowest at the moment. And this Baroness is really angry with me. I hold this? No, wait, there's a temple here, which is held by my vassal. And this is the barony that is not being loyal to me. I don't suppose I can do something to you. It's an act of tyranny. All subjects lose another five opinion. Maybe I can investigate you and find out if you're doing something illegal. And use that as an excuse to steal away a barony within my own county. That's one way to try and increase my holdings on my own personal levy, which is really what I want to do. More than anything else, I want personal levy. Um, negotiate an alliance with my daughter. Yes, I guess we do that. She has 300. Actually, if you don't have any allies, which you don't, maybe I can declare the war. That said, what kind of a war is it? Claims? Duchy. I take the duchy title, but none of the counties. Which means I'd be taking all of you guys as vassals, and you probably would end up being disloyal. That said, it might still be worth it just to take some land and try to snowball a little bit. I'm kind of leaning toward, yeah, this might make sense. Let's declare a war! I like war! War maketh me feel good! And it's gonna take a little time for me to build up a princedom and stuff anyway. Let's march up here to this barony. We're gonna have some attrition to worry about, so that'll be fun. Let's take a look at this commander. I think I'm gonna put myself in charge. I'm a really good commander. Yeah, yeah, we do that, we do that. Make myself a really good commander. I like it. Alright, let's go ahead and begin the siege. Wish I had some onagers. Onagers would be nice, but alas and alack, that's not gonna be a thing. There's some loot we can steal. I actually would really benefit from some money and getting some extra men at arms. Remember, this game is really all about snowballing. You really want to grow fast and get a lot of personal levy and personal tax and holding so you can just power through all your weak neighbors and form an empire. Speaking of dis uh, empires, can we form anything? Unite Africa. Bring all African peoples together in the name of Set. Control the region of Africa. The whole region? Like, all of it? It's ambitious. It's very ambitious. I was just thinking, go along like the North Coast and work my way to Egypt and stuff, but... Sure, all of Africa. Why not? The Serpent's Embrace. What is this? The so-called children of Cain are misled, believing in a twisted parody of the truth. We are all Setites, and by securing our traditional borders, we will take the first step. We have to have the title, Followers of Set. My half-brother has an empire title I need. We need to control Jerusalem, Syria, and Egypt, and destroy a caliphate. I don't know why this is good, but it apparently has an effect. The truth is spread far and wide, and you take the fight to the traditional enemies of your clan. All right. Consecrating a bloodline would be fun, especially since I would live immortally to uh, take advantage of that. Found a new kingdom. Not worried about that right now. Uh, we could invite some new knights. Not going to do that right now. Don't need a physician. We can't get sick, so who cares? Not a lot, as many um, special, like, unique events as I thought. Elysium. Reduces stress because I'm gregarious. We hold council. Spend money, reduce stress. Very good to know that that's an option, actually. All right, so he's coming to land on my ter uh, terrain. Do we see Ghana on the way? Anywhere? I don't. Ghana? Oh, I never called you in. Oh, crap. Wait, no, 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 don't. <sighs> Did we just lose our siege progress? We might have accidentally lost my siege progress. No, we didn't. Thank God. Uh, I need to call in my ally. I need to call in both my allies, but my daughter's about to be sieged. I should have called her in first. Wait, who are you? Duchy of Coimbra. Oh, I guess I can call you in instead. Sure. Where are you? Way up here. My husband. Right. 
Did you take over? No, you're not my husband. Who the heck are you and why are we married? No, we're not married. Okay, I'm sorry. My husband is one of your family members. We could use my husband to take your land in the future. In the meantime, now Portugal is on the way with some troops. Good enough for me. All right, that's good. So we could try to go and fight this. It's not exactly the most even of fights. That's the only problem. But it would be great to go and take you out. If I can get some allies to send troops, which they are, and they're on the way to their capital, we could also just ignore this and go for the base race. Does that make sense? Maybe. But also maybe not. If he's going to go for this, maybe I just ward him off. Go into my own lands. Dry lands, no defensive terrain. I'm curious, what does the game think would happen if I attacked you? What is this? Learn about somebody's grave robber secret. I learned some secrets. Okay. Do we have, like, much better knights and stuff? It does think that I will win. There's a good chance that I will take some casualties in this, but there's also a good chance I win before he can siege any holdings while my ally sieges down the rest. I think we'll try for it. Even if it is a bit of a risk. What kind of secrets did I learn here, then? So, 12th generation. Not sure why that matters. Feeds from the dead. Not sure that matters. Can't blackmail because none of these secrets are illegal. I am of the 4th generation, and I seduce mortals for their blood. How do I use this against her, though? Rationalize? Do a favor for me? Duel my stewardship versus her intrigue. Wait, what? Entrance. Diplomacy versus her intrigue. Intrigue's an unbelievably important skill. I could possibly entrance you, but why would I? Every month, there's a good chance to succeed. Likely, your opinion would go up. I don't care about that. Blood bond? Gain a hook. Spend piety. To do what? Yeah, okay. A hook? It, it will let me maybe imprison you, but it's not that important, really. I can sh Wait, I can do things. What can I do? Hang on. Find mortals. Search your territory for mortals vulnerable to your actions. What kind of mortals am I looking for? What? Peasants, scoundrels, lose things, warriors, merchants, clergy. Chance my hunger increases. Rouse the blood to invoke my auspex power to scry, uh, of scry the soul to find mortals with a caloric response. Why would I want this? I have no idea. I have no idea what any of this means. What else can I do? Hang on. Blood heal. Blood surge. Use blood to increase my abilities. Killing time, I want to be tougher. Masquerade exposure, let's see, what does this do? Gains blood surge prowess 3 for a year. So I can inc risk increasing my hunger in order to boost up my power. Health, diplomacy, martial. Huh. Can you reduce hunger once it's up? What this does is increases my stress gain. Does not necessarily mean I get stress, it just means when I get stress, it goes up faster. That's interesting. What else we got here, then? We can drain an animal to feed my hunger. Stray animal, livestock, hunt in the wilderness, easier prey in town, gain animal resonance experience. Maybe I get wounded. So this is a way to get experience. Animal experience, specifically. Okay. Shapeshift? Gain feral weapons. Oh. Okay, so if I shapeshift, a lot of things happen. Goodness gracious me. I can change into so many forms. Metamorphose? Metamorphosing appears to be more dangerous. But maybe better. Small snake? Intrigue, lose prowess. Turn into mist. Intrigue per level of devotion. Very good at resisting schemes. This is, uh, this is interesting here. We can spend money to try and uh, maybe increase a uh, mass regnate of ghouls. Oh, now that's interesting. What if I created a ghoul army? That'd be a way of winning some stuff. Speaking of which, let's take a look over here. I'm a much better commander. You have some good caballeros. But it looks like we can win this. Family is family. A family reunion is quite rare in the canine circles. 
Uh, let's see. We could have a chance of masquerade exposure decreases. My dominant discipline of the forgetful mind decreases my risk. Or make a lot of people like me. I guess we do that. Let's make a lot of people like me. Liking is good. All right, so my advantage is pretty strong. We've lost a lot of men, but they've lost even more. And we've prevented them from seizing one of my holdings. Now I'm hoping my ally is going to turn around and get ready to intercept them for me. So I don't have to worry about this. What else did my dynasty just do? Max befriend schemes and befriend scheme power. I'm very good at making friends. Accused of claim fabrication. My learning skill screwed this up. Well done, daughter. Uh, it might be worth making a friend, like my marshal, for example. What if we tried to befriend you? Very likely to succeed. Let's try it. Having friends is good. Having friends means people who don't rise up against you and you can easily give them some titles. You know, that's all solid. Wouldn't mind landing my marshal, making them like me and stay under my thumb forever. Uh, we can't really help with this siege, so I think we just stay nearby and scare them for a bit. Why take any attrition? Let them take the losses. If we can just win this siege, that might be all I need to just win the war outright. Did he just gain some more men? I think he did. That's interesting. Well, okay, let's go to speed five. Don't think we're in any danger at the moment. How much longer until I can finish with this holding build? It's almost done. An extra hundred levy and stuff, personally, is going to be nice. Neighboring rulers are winning some wars. Yeah. I did say that one of these guys is going to be strong and dangerous. You're not as dangerous as I would expect. I could possibly take some stuff from you. She's the dangerous one, but a lot of her levy is now spent. Sea of Shadows. What is this? Is this an empire? Really cool background. You got a lot of men. Holy crud, whoever the Sea of Shadows is, I want nothing to do with that. Thank you, that's scary. Bigger, scarier vampire. Nope. No thank you. Yeah, you're generating a lot of your men pretty quick. Um, we're gonna need to deal with you together. So that's 86% war score. Can we... Can I encourage my ally to come and help? Can you link? I am following you. Where are you going? You are retreating all the way over here. Why? Can I encourage you to link to me? Alright, well we have to go and fight this again, unfortunately. Prince of a town has been constructed. Okay, that would increase my levy in theory. Could probably raise some more troops. Here comes the ally. Here's hoping that he's actually going to be helpful. No, no, no. Come help. Come help. Turn around. Okay, we're fighting. We can win this fight easily, and it looks like I'm going to win without his help. Well, he sort of helped anyway, but let's just get over here and kill him off. Ally, you can go finish him off. Befriend. Ye end my scheme. Really? Did I fail? We captured a champion. Can I ransom you? No. Negotiate a release? Wait, what's this other ability? Summon. Hunger increases... There's a chance to progress. He'll be summoned to my presence. Why would I want that? I have no idea. Torture doesn't get me anything good, really. Negotiate release? Gain a hook? Maybe. Depending on who you serve at the end of this war, it could potentially be worth having a hook and using you to help murder somebody. I'm gonna get a hook on you. I know that we're going to have people who are going to um, still be involved, uh, or still hold their land. I'm going to have a whole bunch of new counts when this is done. Okay, uh, my ally almost lost everything. We captured somebody else. Hang on. A countess? Ransom you. Yes. What about you? Ransom you? 25? Yes. I guess I could have done that for a favor. This guy's probably going to be a count, or, uh, count as well. Maybe we can capture some more people. We're at 100% war score, so I can end this now. But we're not going to, because if I can capture anybody else and release them for favors or hooks, when this guy ends up serving me, maybe I can use that to keep him out of a faction. Maybe. 19 months left before I can fabricate the claim that I wanted. We have 150 gold all of a sudden. You've still got more troops? Well, that's fun, but he's going to die. Coimbra is spending a lot of their troops to help with this fight. Okay. Won that as well. I know we're about out of time for this video, but give me a little bit if you don't mind. 
I want to siege this. You've also got 34 gold as loot, and he just gave up. Never mind. Okay. Well, we won automatically. Faction immediately created against me. So, um, we could host Elysium and lose some stress, but I don't see a reason to do that. Faction-wise, you are the main problem. Can I make you like me and or can I find some sort of a scheme that I can use against you? Maybe. I can't revoke your title. We might be able to change that, actually. Can I go to Crown Authority? I can. Would reduce some opinion, but it lets me revoke titles and vassalage. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think that's worthwhile. How much would it cost me to build a new holding? 245. Okay, it's a bit much. I don't think I can justify that right now. But all right. So yeah, factions are potentially going to be an issue. Yep, another vassal has created another faction to use against me. You I'm going to sway. I think we can get you to like me enough to leave me alone. There are some different factions being set up here, though. He wants his duchy back. These guys just want independence. As long as they don't join forces, that actually is fine. And now this independence faction actually isn't strong enough to fight back against me. What's my potential new levy max? 617. Okay, so I've definitely gained a fair bit in strength. The more I can get these new counts to like me, the better. And the more I can seize local land in my own duchy, the better. So we've got to find ways to revoke some land and hand this off to people that I actually care about. That's what I need to do. I need to solidify the realm. This is going to be a little bit tough. A fervent feaster. A countess who hates me, it would benefit you, not to mention those among the impetuated feasts who are remedied soon. Promise a host will be uh, done soon. Well, yeah, I guess we shall do that. We'll make that promise. What is torpor? Any vampire can be bored with unliving for a long time. Now you're bored with this era, it's time to, I'm deposed. I can basically commit vampire suicide. Very interesting. All right, well, this is a good start for us. We have to solidify the realm, but if we can do that, also my exposure has dropped. Hello. If we can do this though, uh, then we can become a lot more powerful and start pushing through Morocco and maybe over to Tahert. I really would like to knock this lady out here in Algiers. This would be great, but she's very strong at the moment. So I'm not sure when that's going to happen. Also, Navara is down here. Weird and awkward. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and you're looking forward to this series of Princes of Darkness. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.